talking to yourself. Can it really help? Well, I think so. And it's what we're going to get into in today's show. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Bourbon. And if you are coming through, please do let me know. And if you would, would you do me the honour of sharing this with your friends, with people in your world? Because I feel it could definitely make a difference in help. Question. Do you talk to yourself? It's a question. Do you talk to yourself? And I don't mean out loud, but I mean internally. Um, how are we doing? Happy Wednesday. Just to let you know, there's no show on Friday. I'm having a four day break after today. So from tomorrow, Peppa Pig World. If you're at Peppa Pig World, look out for us, say hi. Then down to Exeter to see the mother. And then we're at a wedding for the weekend. So I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of time to recuperate before we go on a five day challenge next week. Five day challenge, looking forward to doing that. If you're on it, if you're not on it, get yourself registered. Free five day online workshop. So, <clears throat> One of the biggest things I've been doing recently is internally talking to myself a lot. And I really feel it's helped massively during a really tough mentally and emotionally period, okay? Um, Really tough, tough period. And I've had to reconfirm a lot of things by internally talking to myself okay now a lot of the things that we question and go through in our mind our brains are naturally negatively buoyant if you like (laughs) we tend to slip into negative mindsets negative way of thinking we could wake up one morning feel alive we can wake up another morning and we can feel like we're the world's against us and life is awful We could be going through the day and one minute we feel like we're on top of the world, the next minute we feel like everybody's judging us. One minute we can feel really comfortable about going to an event, the next minute we can feel really anxious. And it's a multitude of thoughts and processes that we go through mentally and emotionally. And that's all triggered through our brain, right? So one of the things that I do when those things are happening, when the negative chat on my brain is going off, overthinking, 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 self-doubt, 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 vulnerability, is talk to myself internally. So the biggest time this often happens is when I wake up. One of the reasons I do this morning routine and I'm out here is to prime my mind ready for the day. It's to prime my mind ready for the day. So I come down here and I think I'm doing awful in business or I think I'm being awful as a father or I think I'm not fit enough or I think um, if you're anything like me, I'm a hypochondriac where I think, oh, I've got a a sore head or something and I think I've got a tumour or I think the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario thinking. And I would come down here and I would do my normal four-mile walk and I would just internally chat to myself. And if you like, they're like positive affirmations. They're like, no, you don't have anything wrong with you. No, you are doing amazing what you're doing. No, you are being a great father. No, you are comfortable. Things are fine. And what I find is that after my four-mile walk, my hour and a half being out on this morning or in the mornings, it really changes the pattern of thinking for me. And I know that this works for many other people because this is what we've been teaching in the mastermind. This is what we teach on a five day. This is what we teach on a 28 day. Is feeding your brain positive information. Reconfirming or allowing yourself to have positive thoughts and allowing yourself to think positively and putting yourself in a positive direction because if we don't do that if we don't allow ourselves to self-talk in within internally then the negative thoughts will spiral out of control and what happens then we start drinking we start becoming angry we start misplacing our time we start eating takeout we start eating poorly we stop training we allow our mind to be consumed with negativity and anxiety. And when we go down that road, it's not a pretty sight for everyone, for you and for everyone around you. And my goal 
every time we get out of the car first thing in the morning is to get back in the car in a positive frame of mind. That's my aim. That's my morning goal. My goal for my morning routine is to get back in my car feeling positive, feeling uh, optimistic and feeling ready. And believing in myself and everything that I'm doing is part of my journey. Constantly saying to myself, enjoy the process. Constantly saying 1% a day. Constantly refusing to fall for the vulnerabilities and temptations of the world. It starts when the alarm goes off. Refusing to ignore the negative chat to say you don't need to get up today. Okay? And I'm not going to get up for the next four days. I'm just going to say. But it's that self-chat that reconfirms what we're trying to achieve. It reconfirms that we're on a journey, that we're on a mission, that we're heading in the right direction. Rather than that negative mindset taking us off track. All right, guys? Listen, I hope that helps. It's, you know, I know that some of you might be doing it, but are you doing it enough? Okay, constantly keeping that chat going, keeping the self-awareness at the forefront of your mind rather than it disappearing at the back of your mind and you forgetting you, all right? This is the type of stuff that we're talking about in the five-day challenge, so come and join us. It's free. Uh, share this page, tag a friend in who you think you might benefit from it. We've helped over 10,000 guys over three and a half years. We know what we're talking about. We know what we're doing here, um, and we know what works for guys as long as they're willing to open up um, and try and change because nothing changes unless you change, right? 100%. Listen, um, I want to know if uh, what you thought of the show. I want to know if this helps. I want to know if you do your own self-chat. I want to know if you're going to go away and start doing some more self-chat off the back of this, all right? Communication is absolutely key and in, in, in everything in terms of it being the oxygen of this show, okay? You're not in front of me to acknowledge or have a chat with me, so... This is the way that I like for us to, to interact, so please do. All right, guys, I will be back live on Monday. I've scheduled lots of content for you while I'm away to keep you going, but I will see you live on Monday morning, or if you're on my five-day challenge, I will see you Sunday evening for the intro.